This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. Hello, this is Gray Hughes. I thought I would put out my main theory on the case. It's usually buried in the long live streams that I do about various cases and sometimes when discussing summer I bring up my theory. My theory, my main theory in this case is that it's an accident covered up and I think the accident happened under Candace's watch and her grandmother was there. Grandis, people call her. And I think that all of their stories are completely true except for the part where the cover-up happened, which would be after Candace went inside the house looking for Summer, noticed she was missing from the basement, goes outside and found her, and didn't tell the rest of the kids, and the boys wouldn't be aware because they were playing video games. She told the grandmother, and they came up with an idea of, of putting her somewhere, maybe driving 10 miles away, putting her body, and then coming back home, then getting the, the ball rolling, calling Don, and then Don shows up. And even though Don has a you know, horrific past, it sounds like, with, and he even admits to um, incidents with his stepsister, I think in this case, there's a good chance that Don doesn't have anything to do with her disappearing in a nefarious way, but he it is possible that he's aware of the cover-up because there's a few times where he bolsters the, uh, the look of Summer to the media. You know, he, he varies the story up to make her look better for an unknown reason, but that actually made me early on go, hmm, I wonder why he's trying to bolster her up. Okay, let me let me play one of these clips right here. This is one. She was a tomboy. I shaved my head. She wanted to have her head shaved like me and the boys did. See, in this instance, Candace said, she's a tomboy. She wanted to cut her hair just like mine because now she's saying that her hair was cut first, short, and that Summer wanted to cut her hair short to match her hair and the boy's hair. Okay, then Don comes in. She tried to shave her head she tried in to the shave back her head and, and make it, uh, I think you can see it in some of the pictures, and it was getting out of control, so she, we decided to shave her head off and let it grow back long, and she shaved her head to to, so she wouldn't feel bad. So what Don's saying here is that Summer cut her hair and made some mistakes back there and it was kind of looking weird so they decided to cut it all off and make it really short and then Candace though out of solidarity much like friends of a cancer patient doing chemo cut her hair short to be in solidarity with Summer which is a completely opposite story so it sounds like Don is trying to, either he remembers it better than Candace, or he's trying to bolster her right now. Now here is the story told from Candace of what happened that day. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers. And we went in after we got done washing our hands and she got a piece of candy from grandma and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers, and I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch, and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV, and I told the boys, I said, watch Summer, I'll be back, and within two minutes I came back, and I asked the boys where their sister was, and they said, 
She went downstairs for mom to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times. And I didn't get no answer. Which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check and she was nowhere in sight. Yeah, so that story right there has remained pretty consistent. I remember early on thinking, wow, that's totally different. But I hadn't really thought through it. I mean, to, the way it's really working is that early on, the story was just a really basic story. And then as people wanted more and more detail, they've just added to it. Um, other than that, the story is the same. We now know, after coming home from the swimming hole, they got back home, they distributed the groceries to the house and Grandis, then Candace did some laundry, and then later on, uh, Grandis wanted to do some transplanting of flowers, and Candace and her wondered, hey, maybe Summer wants to help out. So Summer was excited to go over and help, and then after a while, she wanted to go back inside. They washed their hands, got a piece of candy. She goes back inside the house. And then apparently, you know, Candace walked her over to the house, saw her go inside. Then she made a point of going to the house, looking inside and telling the boys directly, watch out for summer. Then she went over to help Grandis with her knee brace. And then she claims two minutes in this video, but it's since been altered to three to five, but I actually think it's much longer than that. She's admitted that she's really bad with time, and I think that could be much, much longer than that. And that does open the door for a predator having much more time, but in her shortened story, it seems to be an attempt to make her feel or look like a more of a doting mother. That Boy, she was right on top of that. So nothing bad could have happened here. Somebody must have got her. So that's what I feel like, and that's what I felt like originally when she was saying this. You might also, there's people out there that thought, maybe it's a hot, hot car death, okay? Now, I guess what is a possibility, but very unlikely, is that when they got home and were in unloading the car, they forgot about now Summer in the vehicle. However, you know, there's milk right there. I doubt they would have forgot that, but... That is part of when a hot car death happens, you just kind of forget about it. But they were unloading groceries and distributing them. So it would be hard for them to miss Summer as she's sort of amongst the groceries. Okay? So, and it would be very difficult for all the kids to maintain a lie because that means the, every single bit of the story after they made it home is false. I think the story is true. All of it is true. Even going inside the house saying, where's Summer? The only thing that's being covered up is after a conversation was had. I don't know if Don was part of the conversation, but I'm sure if, you know, in my theory that Grandis and Candy would have had a conversation, or Candace, excuse me, they would have had a conversation, and maybe they decided to avoid having the rest of the children taken from them via CPS because it would be looked at as a negligent type of uh, incident like nobody was watching summer she's only five right so to avoid the children being taken they decided to put summer somewhere come back and get the ball rolling and maybe haven't told don the truth because don would be irate and you know even though don has a he admits to a hideous past with his stepsisters, it might be completely irrelevant to what happened in this case. And that's absolutely a possibility. So, in my theory, it is irrelevant. So, Don also might be aware of what happened, and he's part of the cover-up, and that's why he's bolstering her in some comments. And you know, But lately, he has brought up that theory a little bit more. So... So that's my theory. Right here, I think that when they were doing gardening, Candace walked somewhere over to here, she went inside, and then maybe she went out that side door. It sounds like it was unlocked, according to Don, and she could have got out that door. Now, if it was locked, it'd be weird because that means whoever took her would have locked the door. It would almost necessarily have to be unlocked. Why would, let's say it, Don 
is this nefarious person and took Summer? Why would he waste time locking that door again? Why would a why would any uh, nefarious actor need to lock that door? If it was locked, how in the hell? I mean, you, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense that the door was locked. So if it's unlocked, she goes outside, gets injured somewhere on the property after she walks out. Very dangerous piece of property for a, a little kid. And something happened to her. It's been covered up. And all their stories are true. They're just leaving out the last bit, a drive somewhere and a drive back. And a, a lie is much easier told when it's filled with truth. Well, that's my theory, everyone. And as long as Don's alibi turns out to be true, proven by the ping information, then this is the theory that I think is most likely given the information that we have.